Alright guys, uh, this is a proof of concept of uh, external cooler design that I consider to be my intellectual property and uh, just want to in a sense document it and uh, document the uh, evolution of it. The idea is uh, simple, it uses uh, tubes under compression to uh, keep the structure stiff and to provide support for the uh, PC case. And uh, let me show you, move this case. It's a modular type design. Somebody has an 8 inch wide case and they want it snug up against it or they have a 9 inch case or whatever. The width can be adjusted very simply. Say somebody wants to use a GTX 560, well you can just make the panel longer. So I want to use a PA 120.3, just put the bars a little farther apart. This one's set up for two Swiftec MCR 320s. And uh, I know people are going to say, oh my god, it's going to be pushing air at each other or sucking air through each other or whatever. Well, guess what? Swiftec actually sells a kit where you can put a fan in between two of these radiators. So, pulling air from one radiator and passing it out the other one is exactly what that idea does. And it's shown to have great uh, performance increase over a single radiator. But if you wanted to get all anal about it, it'd be easy to put a very simple divider in here, either of wood or of acrylic, that would just deflect the air up or down if you wanted to run the unit by itself. Now when you stick a case on it, all the air is pretty much going to come out the ends and that's fine because it's not restrictive. There's approximately three fans worth of opening at each end. And you've got three fans worth on each side coming in, so it all works out. Now, is it stiff? Is it strong? Yes, it's very light. The, uh, using the tubes under compression uh, makes this thing incredibly rigid. It stays square regardless of the side load. Does it have to be made of wood? No. This could be acrylic. This could be PVC. This could be, you know, glass. It could be whatever material you care to make it out of. But the idea is what I'm trying to document here because the idea of using tubes under compression to trap panels to hold liquid cooling equipment for a PC it is not something I've seen. So uh, this may be this may be it. This may be the one that actually takes off. <laughs> and you were here first watching it on YouTube before I became rich and famous. Wouldn't that be exciting? I call it the waterboard right now just because uh, Danger Den has their torture rack. So I thought, well, you know, let's take a nice politically incorrect sensitive term and uh, use it. Well, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. You'll see more of this soon.